Okay, so our last speaker is Jean-Francois, and he's going to talk about small inversions for smaller inversions. Okay, so first, I uh, have a question, who is tired? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, don't, don't worry, I will only present uh, primary, primary school uh, level examples. <laughs> okay, so how do, do I advance? Uh, this way, maybe? Okay. So let us just recall the, the uh, very basic example of uh, uh, inversion on this inductive predicate uh, defining uh, even numbers. So you see that, uh, uh, how does it work? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Thank you. Um, okay, so basically, uh, after a number of, uh, of uh, usual steps, you, you get this, uh, this goal here. So you make an induction on the first one, and uh, then uh, you have this one. And at this stage, what do you want to, 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 to do? You, you want just to say, okay, I will invert this one because it can only come uh, from, uh, from, the, from this one. Okay. And so this is basically the, the point of uh, inversion. So what you have to see is that uh, uh, inversion, in fact, is two things at the same time. It's a reasoning on um, an inductive relation, so it was even in the previous slide, and on an argument uh, or several arguments which have an inductive type. For instance, uh, nut in, in, uh, n of uh, type nut in the previous slide. Okay. And what you, do you want? You want the, the goal, uh, sorry, the, the hypothesis to be de decomposed at once into all its components, okay? And uh, uh, if you have several cases, you, you may have several cases, but all the components at once, and of, in particular, remo remove the irrelevant cases. So for instance, in this case, you want to remove the case EV0. Okay. And basically, what is it? Altogether, it's a kind of simultaneous pattern matching on uh, H and its arguments. Okay, uh, so uh, one of the motivations of this work was to, uh, to, to make uh, some improvements on a, on a method called the Broca method, which was designed with uh, Dominique here. And uh, uh, we, we can even uh, illustrate this method, though, uh, of course, this method has been used on much more uh, uh, complicated examples. So this one is uh, very, very basic. So here we would just like to use the even predicate of the previous slide just to define half on even numbers, only on even numbers, not on the uh, odd numbers. Okay? So uh, you, you see, the basically, you, if you, you see that if you extract this program, you will get exactly the, the lizard program in, in OCaml. So, here you see that the one is just eliminated here. Uh, okay, and, and the, the point is that uh, in the method we defined a projection here, which is kind of another uh, uh, small, small, uh, small, injection, uh, small sorry, um, um, inversion. We are all tired. Uh, and um, so I will not go into the details, but uh, okay, one of the key steps of the method is to define the, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, projection here uh, in this way. So anyway, once you, it is defined, you would like to reason on this, uh, on this function and uh, independently uh, on, uh, of the certifi um, termination certificate, which is here. So in this case, of course, you know uh, when, it, it, when it exists, but uh, in the general case, you may have, uh, uh, this can be uh, an arbitrary complex uh, domain here. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so um, uh, this is just an example of, uh, of the of kind of thing you, you want to do, and uh, you would like to, to perform a, an inversion here. So, okay, so nothing, uh, nothing more. Uh, another example uh, is, is you would like to prove that uh, the result of even does not depend on uh, the uh, termination certificate. Okay, so a kind of constant function on the second argument. Uh, and okay, so, oh, sorry, it was a previous slide. Uh, it was this one. Uh, so it was equal to uh, proof relevant or proof constant, if you prefer. And uh, uh, it happens that in that case, uh, you, you have, uh, you can even prove that uh, even is unique, but uh, 
it is not always the case. So for a, a very simple example, you can see in, in this library, uh, in the standard library, a constructed epsilon. Okay. Um, so we, we can consider uh, more, more complicated cases, uh, even uh, on this uh, on the uh, previous basis. For instance, you could, instead of net, consider finite numbers, bounded, uh, bounded numbers, uh, non-tailed numbers bounded by, by some value. So the, the basic type is this one. And you, you can uh, exactly follow the, the same lines. Uh, and in many of these cases, you, you uh, actually, the standard inversion of Koch fails. Okay. So uh, just to, to remind you that uh, the uh, inversion has been, uh, uh, has been uh, considered for a very, very long time by many people, uh, including myself uh, a number of years ago. And today, I present uh, some improvements on uh, the existing work, in uh, including uh, work I presented to some of you uh, last year. OK, so now, just to recite the, the, uh, the only thing you have to remember of this talk uh, today. So there is a recipe, and I will uh, illustrate the recipe on examples uh, in the in later slides. So you have a relation such as even, so it is called a rule, uh, some input arguments uh, of, uh, of type Tx, uh, which, which is here, uh, which ha has to be an inductive type itself, okay? And then you consider the definition of rule. Of, of so we, I will show you how to construct some auxiliary inductive types, which are just by copy based of the original ones, original one. And, um, but not uh, it's, uh, this, this inductive types only consider one step. So it is not, not recursive at all, OK? Then you can define a dispatch function, or uh, uh, the most important part is that you have to dis define this uh, predicate here, which is a, a kind of a new version of rel, OK? Um, and the proof will be very easy that, uh, that it satisfies uh, this, uh, this implication. And when you, have a, uh, when you are in the, one of the previous situation, then you just have to perform a pattern matching against not R, but really in involve R. And automatically, everything will, uh, uh, will uh, be uh, very nice. OK? Uh, sometimes, so in particular with the program method, you want a little bit more because the hypothesis could occur itself in a part of the, uh, of the goal or uh, in the conclusion of the goal. Uh, so there are uh, two techniques. Uh, so th this one is quite standard. And this one, which is, uh, which is a little bit better because you don't have to, to write uh, more things. You will see that uh, just uh, adding one argument to the previous uh, uh, thing, uh, the previous oral relation, uh, then you, uh, everything is written exactly in the same way. So let us see the examples now. Even, so primary school examples. So you have a uh, which is recorded here, and here is a copy paste version. So you have one telescope here for even, uh, for zero, okay? So it's just this one, so no, uh, sorry, it's this one. So of course I have to rename the, the constructor, it's a little bit boring, but uh, not difficult. I have to consider the case of one, so this one has no, no, uh, no, it doesn't exist here, so it's just a, a dot. And finally, uh, even two, which is uh, the green here, okay, so you see, just a copy paste, and in particular, I copy even n here, this bit uh, here. So it, we could, in the general case, have other uh, arguments, uh, a full telescope, okay? Now, if, uh, uh, now the, the, in, the inversion uh, predicate, is just a pattern matching on n, okay? And then in each case, you will, uh, consider, uh, you will return either uh, the, this one or this one or this one. That's all. And the proof is uh, completely trivial <coughs> by, uh, uh, by pattern matching on e this, this time. Okay, and uh, so this is a version, uh, okay, with uh, uh, an, inject an, an injective, uh, proving that this, this, uh, this inversion function is actually injective. Okay, but let us see the, the better version, the modern version. So it is like before, I recalled uh, the, the, the previous slide here, and in, you can see, for instance, on, on the green, uh, uh, on the, on the green case here, that uh, instead of having uh, even n implies, I have for all e of type even, then, uh, okay, same thing. So you, you see the additional argument here, which is uh, at the end. So it's, it's the only thing which is added. And the, this definition is exactly the same as in the previous slide. So, so this is more, more convenient. 
Uh, okay, and uh, so okay, I could show you a demo. Uh, everything performs exactly uh, as you expect, uh, and in particular, when you perform uh, a call on uh, the, the inversion pr uh, predicate applied to the hypothesis, you don't have uh, this boring uh, additional uh, equalities uh, provided by standard inversion. So you have to work more. Uh, okay, so you get a little bit more tired at the beginning, but uh, but after. So once you have re you would uh, this uh, all this uh, the previous stuff, everything is, is quite convenient. So let us now consider um, uh, other situations than the uh, the work method. So for instance, this one. So short exercise for you because I am tired. So could, could you write uh, the the auxiliary predicates and uh, the inversion uh, function? Three minutes. Okay, I give you the solution. So just uh, um, so so it's just uh, uh, okay. So you can see this is just a kind of copy of uh, the equality. Another way of defining equality on uh, numbers. So with a kind of diagonal argument. Uh, so you see. So this time I have I have I apply the previous the previous principle on two arguments at the same time. So uh, zero zero here s of x s of y here, and uh, for the other uh, other cases. Uh, just looking, so you can see here the inversion predicate, and that's all, uh, always the same proof uh, uh, for uh, uh, half a line. And then you can use this, to, for instance, to prove that uh, this reflex, uh, this one, uh, the previous solution is reflexive, and it is not only reflexive, but actually it is uh, okay. You can define the, uh, its left inverse, and uh, you see. Also, I don't find all the details are clear, but uh, don't read the, the little letters. Uh, but you just see that uh, uh, I regularly use the previous um, inversion predicate uh, in here and there, and also here to prove that this uh, the, this function is uh, is injective. Okay, and from that you, you get uh, yet another way to get unicity of proofs uh, on natural numbers. Uh, okay, okay, you can do the, along the same lines without uh, using inversion, so that's a pity. But okay, so uh, uh, equality is too easy, so let us consider uh, another one which is uh, less, or, less or equal. Then you can, okay, I, will not, I don't have the time, I guess, to, to enter into the details, so I'll just show you that the code is very short. Oops, sorry, it's <laughs> only at the end. Okay, uh, the only thing is to, to is to, um, Proceed as if the, the less or equal predicate was defined in, in this way. So, the, so this allows you to perform the, uh, pattern matching on the second argument. So the rest is uh, as usual. Okay, so there are some, okay, there are some little points you should be uh, uh, careful. And uh, at the end, so, for, uh, so you get uh, <coughs> a, a, very, a very simple proof that um, you have only one proof of L unique. So at some point you, okay, so. The only thing is that you have to isolate the equality part of uh, less or equal. So it is here, and then you can rely on the standard library. Okay, that's, uh, that's the end. Uh, so just uh, some advertisement uh, for the work uh, performed with uh, Dominic. Okay, and uh, all the examples, you can play with them uh, at, this, uh, at this space. Thank you. Questions? Yes? Ah. Does the recipe also work when the parameters or indices of the inductive type are dependent in each other? Uh, so again, so the, uh, everything? when you have an inductive type with two indices, where the, two type, indices. where the type of the second one depends on the first index, does the recipe still work? So the the thing you have to to be careful is that to 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 be to become able to reason by case on the constructors of the arguments. So if it depends, so uh, so so yes. For instance, for the case of LE, I arrange things to 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 remove so to isolate the dependencies. So I I have to admit that in in all the case I had to, to consider uh, until now, I did not get into very, very complicated situations. Okay, and completely different question. 
uh, do you think one can implement a plugin in one of the meta programming languages for Coq, which does all of the recipe automatically? So uh, it's a very good uh, suggestion that uh, we have to, to try to, because you see that uh, basically the mechanic is quite uh, regular. So yes, uh, so it would be uh, a good, uh, but uh, okay, uh, I, am, uh, I need uh, additional people to, to help me to do that. <laughs> if, if, uh, people are welcome to join uh, <laughs> this project. <laughs> Another question? You no, okay. <laughs> ah. Uh. <laughs> it's uh, it's inspired from uh, the work from Jean Francois. Yeah. <laughs> Pull request, Pierre. Any other question? I have one question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> From a reviewer, actually, he, uh, one of the reviewers asked me, uh, uh, he was this, uh, this is because uh, something did not, get wo uh, did not work on, uh, when using Matform. But I have, so I, so I, so I find it strange because uh, I think it's just uh, quite regular and simple. And it just uses uh, a standard construction of uh, a functional program, actually. It's just functional programming uh, calling a pattern matching. So, uh, so if somebody can uh, help to, <laughs> to answer this, uh, this issue, <laughs> or explain me what is the problem with the uh, first project. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay, so. Uh, So the equations plugin has uh, facilities to do complicated uh, eliminations too. How is this different? Uh, how is this different from what uh, the equations plugin pro provides? Uh, uh, no idea. <laughs> 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 So basically, you, you have a very similar construction to the no confusion principle that's generated on inductive types, and that's used in all the compilation of dependent pattern matching in AXA, or, I mean, to justify the one in AXA or the one of equations. Uh, so they are very similar techniques. Okay, so uh, let, let's thank our last speaker.